I um, wanted to bring a special story to you about a dear neighbor of mine who's become a wonderful friend. She um, always fed me and gave me food. Uh, she gave me companionship. Um, her daughter and her shared their, their lives with me. Now they have to move under some really unfortunate circumstances and I really feel like as a community we should be able to help them out a little bit so that this move isn't so drastic and um, traumatizing for them. I expected to be living here longer than four years because I didn't take into consideration that the rent could go up probably just because they put a fence up that's always breaking. <laughs> but that's part of life. We are supposed to expect the unexpected. It takes a lot to get on housing, but hey, patience makes for a good outcome. Even though it's a long waiting list, it's better than being homeless. It gives me stability, it gives me, it puts me in a good place. Because I've known being, living in poor housing uh, situations. This is quite a upgrade to what I was living in. I go to food banks to make ends meet. I've got a, a caregiver that gives me rides to the food banks and when I get have extras, I share with the neighbors and, you know, try and help the community where I can. Well, I'm proud of myself I've been able to keep this housing without having any complications. There's a lot of rules living in one of these community places that are in place. I mean, the lease is like a little book. When I imagine home, I imagine a secure place where, or where I feel safe at, where I know I'm not gonna be kicked out of or have somebody complaining. When you found out about this, what, what had to go through your mind? Oh, I stressed out. I completely and totally freaked out. Thought I'd done something wrong. Thought that doing my reapplication and marking renegotiate the lease would have worked, but since the rent increase was so high, they couldn't do it, so now I have to move. So I has more stress than I'm normally used to. 